So how does that affect us here? Does this have an incomplete octet? Yeah. Mm, I'm assuming yes, because the BR doesn't attack it. So. No, complete octet. That's it fine. has a complete octet. Oh, yeah. Right? Complete good. octet. Um, it has, um, it's, so it started, it still has a complete octet. So is it going to be the electrophile or is the carbon going to be the electrophile? The carbon. The carbon. And then we're going to kick these electrons off to here, just like in this pattern. So we're going to be forming this, uh, following this kind of pattern down here. Okay, so um, that's going to be our uh, result here. So I guess I'll erase this. And it's signal plane. Mm -hmm. Now, when the bromine attacks here, is it going to attack from in front or from behind? Why would the bromine, the bromine would come in from behind? Because the other bromines are... Is because of steric hindrance. This bromine is blocking the front. So this is going to be a backside attack. So this bromine up here should end up on a dash. How about the bromine on the bottom carbon? Wedge. It's a wedge because it was already on the wedge. But since we had two products before, didn't we? One would... Well, it's basically going to be the same because it can just rotate, right? However, up here I showed the bromine attacking the top carbon, but there's nothing to prevent it from attacking the bottom carbon. That would give us this mechanism. And then what's the product? The bromine attacks like this. Will this now, will this bromine be on a wedge or a dash? A dash. Because this is the new bromine that's coming in. What well, has to come in from behind so it doesn't get blocked by this bromine, bromonium over here. And how about this bromine up here? So here's our two final products. It doesn't matter whether you show the original bromine on wedges or dashes. Either way, you get these same products over here. Um, so this is as complicated as this would get. Now, um, you always have to make sure that you really have two different things. Are these different, or are these the same as each other? They are the same. You just flip them over, they're the same. They are not the same. They are in antimers. They are in antimers. Everybody thinks you could flip these, but... That way, then it's in the, like, the top yeah. one is going to be... Okay, it's not, it's not the same. So, um, suppose that I took this and flipped it. Well, if I flipped this, the bromine would be on a wedge, okay. right? and then it still wouldn't lay over this. So this is something that the second language book points out. This is a very common student mistake to think that these are the same picture. It just takes practice at, with um, superimposing things in your mind to see these really are different pictures. These are enantiomers. So we really need to show both of these as the final product. These are two different things, and they definitely are the uh, two different final products here. All right, so this is a, definitely an important reaction, a little bit different from anything we've seen before. Now, um, there is no regiochemistry here. There's no um, Markovnikov or anti-Markovnikov because the two things that are attacking are the same. Since the two things attacking are the same, it doesn't matter who ends up on which carbon. But there is stereochemistry. Is it sin attack or anti-attack? Anti. Anti. This is the first anti-attack we've seen. Um, previously, all we saw was a sin attack in hydrogenation. We saw that hydrogenation had a sin attack. Notice that that was when we had two hydrogens attacking. Well, in hydrogenation, the two hydrogens attack from the same direction. But here we have two bromines attacking, and that's anti. Well, but why is anti? Yeah, well, first of all, anti means that the two bromines attack from opposite directions. And we can see that's what happened here. We showed the bromine coming in from in front of the page. Oh, because and then we showed the, bromine, uh, the second bromine coming in, coming in from behind. For this one, we don't have like, the palladium metal that like, is on one side, so both of them have to attack on the other side. And they're so. going to avoid steric hindrance. So those are the two sides of the explanation. So first of all, we don't have the, the whole palladium that's going to have hold these both on the same side. And um, also maybe a, a better explanation, but, but those are both important, is the two bromines here, um, the second bromine attacks after the first bromine is blocking one of the directions. Once the second bromine comes in, the first bromine is, is blocking one of the directions. And this bromine is going to be very rigid here, blocking this direction because of the cyclic intermediate. So there's definitely no room to come in from in front here. So you definitely have to come in from behind. So again, it's always important to be able to explain the results in terms of the mechanism. Why is this reaction anti? 
because the first bromine uh, blocks one of the directions. So the second bromine has to come in from the opposite direction. Why is hydrogenation sin? Well, somebody already explained that because the two hydrogens come in from the same spec of palladium. So they should be coming in from the same direction. These videos are offered on a pay what you like basis. You can pay for the use of the videos at my website. There is a link to my website in the info box. The address is www.freelance-teacher.com slash videos dot htm or you can just use the link in the info box. By the way, I also offer tutoring via Skype and you can find more information about that Skype tutoring service at my website. Thanks.